And then I got myself young. Y'all better not show this all the way, man. You see me with the Jerry Curl. <laughs> <laughs> got me with the Jerry. <laughs> you look like Jamie Foxx. <laughs> you look like Jamie Foxx. <laughs> Come on in here. Check it out. There's a lot of stuff in here. You'd be like, wow. This is what you first see. Ooh, look at that, boy. A lot of ass kicking from here, boy. We want to see it all, bro. <laughs> All right, here we go. House Guest Quarantine Edition. We back, baby. House Guest, we are back in the building. And guess what? We have a special guest today. This is a very special guest to me, man. Honestly, uh, one of my childhood heroes. Uh, one of Bay Area's finest. Uh, defensive Player of the Year. One of the first to do it as a guard. One of my favorite PGs ever. Mr. Gary Payton, what's good? GP. What's up, Nate, baby? What's happening with GP, are you with me? Oh, yeah! <laughs> All right, well, man, let me see the crib, man. Let me see your... Let me see the casa. Man, you know what? Nate, I just sold my big house out here and I thought about it and I said, man, let me go on and get me one that's gonna suit myself. So right. let, I'm gonna take you to one of my rooms, man, where I, you know, put up a lot of things that I, I've been seeing with myself. At Ooh, all them jerseys. You see right here, I got uh, Carl Malone and uh, Kobe. The Kobe one, man, is signature. They got a signature, y'all. You know what's going on. It's cracking like that. It's gonna be worth a lot. But I'm, you know, my boy ain't here no more. Over here, you got it, Nate. I got all the Dream Team, baby. Ooh, hey. That's tough. Yeah, that's the Dream Team too, right there. I got them all up. Then over here, up here, I got me and Shaq together. Did all my Milwaukee stuff. But you know what's happening right here, Nate. Man, town business, hey, that's. Hey. That's what that's what I grew up watching. You guys had the city on fire, and then on top of that, you I mean you took the NBA by storm. You guys were the first live city, the real original live city. Uh, can you talk about you know talk a little bit about that? Well, you know, Nate, that was that was really in the '90s where it all started, man. Everybody liked the basketball in the '90s, man. Uh, you know, it, it was one of them one of them times where. Seattle was on fire. It was real on fire. We was winning almost 50 to 60 games a year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Five years in a row. Everybody was on us, man. We we were a pretty good team, man. We had me, Kemp, you know, uh, Deadlift, uh, Hershey, uh, Sam Perkins, man. Yeah. Uh, man, we won a lot of games, man. We was in the playoffs all the time, but we never could get over that hump. And right. I just think that when you guys was coming up, man, and watching us, man, it was just on fire, man. The city was on fire. So quick, quick story, guys, you don't know. Uh, I'm going to kind of fast forward a little bit. I know I'm supposed to save a lot of these questions, but I'm so excited because you, got, you never get opportunity to talk to such a legend like yourself. But I want the people to know that I played for your AAU team growing up. I played for the GP All-Stars, very proud. You always kept us in the freshest gear, the freshest GPs, Nikes, George, like you had us with everything. And uh, you know, we appreciated that. Uh, but I, I wanna know if you remember the day when I told you I was gonna make it to the league and you laughed and was like, yeah, we gonna see, we gonna see. And then my first game, I got to play against you in Miami. Uh, and that was when I got my first dunk. <laughs> I don't know if you remember, but I have a picture I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get it blown up and get you to sign it. But I got a picture of both of us uh, going after a loose ball, and it was it was for me like it may not have been meant not anything to you because you know you've been in the league, you played against some of the greats, but for me that was everything, bro. Because you was one of my childhood heroes, and to be able to play you know play for your AAU team and then make it to the league for me it it just it it was everything, bro. And I just want to say thank you and I appreciate it big time. You, you know, you're welcome, man. You know, every, anything you ever need from me and everything, any possible thing that you want to ask me, just ask me for it because you got to understand too, Nate, when you guys, when you, when I played against you that first time, it, it, was, it was an honor for me too because the honor was that a kid that I 
really raised up coming into Seattle, showing him the guiding way of getting to the NBA. And then all of a sudden I'm playing against you. That's a feat. It, it, it's just like with uh, Jamal, uh, Jason Terry. It's just like with all you guys playing against you guys and you guys growing up to me and seeing that it just makes it me more proud, you know? And but the, what makes me really, really proud of you guys is, is that y'all had that killer instinct. You didn't let me know that it was an honor. You went out and played because that was the what you were supposed to be and that was a dog I wanted to install in you. All right, G, so I see you got some crazy jerseys on the wall. It's a lot of legends in there. Is there anything else in that room that uh, that stands out to you that you like? Well, yeah, Nate, you know, I'm, I'm a gang type of guy. You see in the background right here, I got uh, all the multi-gun uh, video games. I'm a, much, a, a video game where I like the old school. You know, I used to go to arcades, put quarters in there. I got of all the, Then all of a sudden over here, I got the, I got the dartboard. And then Nate, what's so special about this, Nate? Look here, man. You see, when we first opened up Kia Ring, you see it on the wall? Uh, yes, sir. It's packed. Then we come over here. Got all my all-star stuff up. You know, all the all-star teams I was on. Everybody know I did nine of them. So mm. this, we got a lot of them. And Nate, this is my special part right here on my fireplace. I got my pops and my moms who just passed. My mom just passed away a year ago. My dad passed away five years ago. I got all of them on the on, on thing, man. And I just keep it. And then I got myself young. Y'all better not show this all the way, man. You see me with the Jerry Curl. <laughs> you got me with the Jerry. <laughs> you look like Jamie Foxx. <laughs> you look like Jamie Foxx. <laughs> so you know, man, I got a lot of It was stuff. rocking the Jerry Curls in the 80s, bro. That's crazy. Hey, the 80s, man, we was booming Ooh. with the Jerry Curls, right? I'm glad God let me be born in the, in 84 and I was a 90s baby. <laughs> I was all up, I would look like with a, with a jerry curl. <laughs> Boy, you would have had juices and berries, juices and berries. That's so glow, let the show glow. <laughs> you know so silky smooth, just let it shine through. <laughs> just let it shine through. <laughs> So close. And <laughs> hey, that's a classic, though. This is where I come and just chill out, man. I'll be beating on people up in here, man. We play Uno for drinks. We do all kind of stuff, man. You know, I got my game room, man. Like I told you, I'm a big arcade dude, man. And right there, Nate, you know what that is? NBA jams, baby. Hey, listen, I used to be, I used to be you and Sean Kemp all the time because y'all had the best lobs and Kemp used to dunk everything. Can you talk about like, you know, the way you played, the style, the no look passes, the Sean Kemp, and you know, getting your players fired up? Like, like what was that like growing up in the like hooping in the 90s? It was really good, man, because we used to go to every Every team had four or five top players. And that was so way when the league was just dominant, when everybody, you can go to anybody's home. And that's what was so fun about it because we had competition every night. We couldn't take a night off. You know, we used to play four games in five nights. We play on a Tuesday, a Monday and a Tuesday, and then off Wednesday, and then play Thursday and Friday, and then go home and be tired. That's what it was all about. And that's why we had to used to have, I used to have flash because you had to make it fun. To me, right. it was about being fun. When it started being boring and being like a job, you don't need to play basketball no more. And I just wanted to make it fun all the time. And I'm glad I had Sean Kemp with me because he made it exciting all the time. Because if I throw it anywhere, he'd go get it. And then all his antics, when he started point, pointing at people. Dunking on people. <laughs> that was the, that was the whole highlight of Aaron Pay. I love that. Bro, they gave you the nickname, the glove, play offense, a hell of a point guard, but you really took pride in defense. What was your mindset going in every night, you know, playing against, you know, some of the best in the NBA, but, you know, just locking them up and clamping them up? What was that? Like, how was your mindset going into them, like, going into the games? Nate, my mindset was to take everybody hard away from them. If I can go in there and take their heart away from them and make them scared of me from day one, 
and that means they're not going to have a good game and they're going to be always worried about me and get out of their, their team concept. And once I went in there, it was always something like the coaches, don't say nothing to him, don't talk to him, don't get him started. And that's what I wanted. I wanted fear in a lot of these guards. So I'm going to take you to my office, though, Nate. This is where one of the things that, you know, everything is on these walls, man. Oh. This is where the different people that I really like on here. I got different jerseys of different people. This is where I get down at. It's like this. You know, it's it's, it's it's one of the things. I got all my, my trophies and all my things up in here. You know, I got my 49ers in here. That's why. Hey. Y'all see my big old dog in the back? Look at my, oh, oh. my big husky. You know what I'm saying? So this is where I get down and I kick it, Nate. And there got my boy, Muhammad Ali. Uh. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff. He said that to me before he died. Um, and then I sent him some jerseys and stuff. And it was all real good, man. It's like, this is a room too that I come in and, and I watch TV and, and I kick it and sit outside and I can open up the doors and just, just relax. So G, man, I see you got a lot of memorabilia in there. Is there something in there that is just like your most prized possession? Yeah, yeah, Nate. You know, everybody always asks me a question. Who's the toughest guy that I ever, ever, ever had the guard? The guard. And what <laughs> I always say? John Stockton. John Stockton. Ooh, up the pick and roll. <laughs> so this is my most prized possession right here. I got him next to Jay Kidd and next to Carl Malone, as we see. But this guy right here, man, was the guy that I really, really respected. I respect him to the day. Nate, you know I asked him and George Gervin to uh, induct me into the Hall of Fame, uh, which he did, which was really great. It was an honor for me. This is a question I always wanted to ask, you know, especially somebody from Seattle, and I wanted to ask, you know, Sean Kemp as well. But what was it like, uh, you know, playing in the finals against the Bulls and, you know, representing Seattle, you guys making it all the way to the finals out of the West, man. Like, what was that like at the moment? It was a big feeling. Seattle was so lit, so lit yeah. for the games. It was lit. And I hate that we lost the first game in Seattle. I wish we could have won all three of them. We won two of them by big margins. And I, I just think that I hate that Seattle don't have a team. I just hate it. You know what I'm saying? Because we were they were the greatest fans ever. And I just I just, I just loved it. Loved it. Loved it. And I thought that we was gonna get back there a lot, but things didn't work out. You know, but that one time, just getting to the finals and being the, um, you know, Western Conference champions was big for us. Yeah, that was, that, it, it was lit. Cause I snuck into one of those games and watched you guys play, man. It was pretty dope to watch you guys really attack, you know, attack the Bulls like y'all did and, 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 and really, you know, challenge them like that because, you know, everybody counted us out. And for you guys to really come throughout the West and uh, being from Seattle, man, it really, like, it, it really just struck, you know, so much love into every player, every young kid that wanted to, you know, make it to the league, play in the finals, play in the playoffs. Like, like you guys gave us that vision, man, and we thank you. I appreciate it, Nate, and it was it was always an honor. Like I said, it's not over. Seattle's gonna get a team back. We all hope so. We all gonna be up there still. We all gonna be going up there. I'm gonna have a pleasure of, of working with the team and moving back to Seattle where I want to want to be. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's, we still gonna have something, you know. Then we're gonna have to, we're gonna get a Sean and, and Detlef jersey and the Raptors and everybody just gonna have time when we're gonna have Seattle way back on lit again. So, so is that a little hint, hint that you're about to tap into coaching? Yeah, that's a hint, hint. That's a hint. Oh. hint. I'm, I'm trying to get into it, man. Okay. Do it, man. I'm ready to do what I gotta do, man. They need guys like myself to come out and help them, get them that motivation and get them that dog in them. Which yes, sir. Pretty got dog. It's just that they need a little bit more guidance. Well, thank you guys, man. I really appreciate you stepping into our show, bro. I love, I, I love you as a player, bro. I love you as a mentor. I really appreciate everything you've done, bro. You helped me uh, uh, grow up so much, bro. You have made sure that my mom didn't have to worry about buying no more sneakers. <laughs> you know, as a kid, you know when we couldn't afford them. So you, like, you definitely paid the way for me, bro. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. So thank you. 
It's always a pleasure. You're welcome, man. And anytime you want me to be on here again, anything you want me to do, you know, I love you like, like a little brother. You is like my little brother. It's always Thank you, bro. a pleasure, man. It's always been a pleasure. Right. I was guessing I know what it is, man. That's GP. Are you with me? Oh, yeah. Hey, Make sure you leave that Jerry curl alone, man. Leave that Jerry curl. <laughs> Time out, bro. Uh, I thought, hey, bro, you look like Joe. <laughs> You see, like long, you see the, the big old collar? You like Joe. <laughs> hey, that's, that's, that's right there. That's, 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 that's